Wouldn't it be nice if there was a program like Tweak UI for Windows 10 or 11? Well, what if I told you there was? Stay tuned. If you saw my video a while back when I was showcasing Microsoft's new power toys for Windows 10 and 11, you probably couldn't help but notice that a good section of that video was me complaining that Microsoft didn't include a new version of Tweak UI. But you know what? As I was filming that video, I thought if Microsoft hasn't made an alternative to Tweak UI, I wonder if anyone else has. And you know what? It turns out someone did. The program we're going to look at today is called Tweak UIX. The X, I assume, stands for 10. This program is essentially a replica of the Tweak UI from Windows 95 and 98. It shares the same design elements as the original Tweak UI, but allows you to tweak Windows 10 and 11. But Mostly Windows 11, but I'm sure some of the tweaks also work on Windows 10. I was originally going to do this video in Windows 10, but after looking at the program, I noticed that most of the tweaks were intended for Windows 11. So I upgraded my system here to Windows 11 just for this video. So let's check this program out. Okay, so to jump right into this, the first thing that you're gonna need is to go to the GitHub page for Tweak UIX. I'll go ahead and leave a link to this in the description below, but if you search for it, it's pretty easy to find. Now to get this program, all you do is scroll down to releases right here and go ahead and hit latest. And then from here, you're gonna scroll down to the Tweak UI zip. We're gonna click on that and download it. And then once it's downloaded, we can go ahead and show it in the folder. It's in our downloads folder here. And I'm gonna go ahead and right click and hit extract all. Hit extract and it should extract the folder into the same one that your downloads folder is in. And we can close that. All right, so this is the program right here. So to start it up, you just double click on tweak UIX. Go ahead and click on more info, hit run anyway. And then it's gonna give you the user account control. Just go ahead and hit yes. And then from here, as you can see, this is Tweak UIX. I'll go ahead and put an image of what the original Tweak UI looked like right next to it here. And you can kind of see how reminiscent this is of the original Tweak UI. They're practically the same looking program at least. Well, at least close. This one here obviously has the theme of Windows 11, but you know, you can't have everything. So if you look through here, these are all the different categories of tweaks that you can change with this program. Now, the first thing I would recommend doing is if you're gonna use this program, make sure that you make a system restore point from the very beginning. And there's a really good reason why. So let me show you how to do that. And then I'll explain the reason why you need to do that. So go ahead, click on the start button and just type restore. And then from there, it says create a restore point, click on that. And then we're gonna wanna go ahead and click on create and then name your restore point something. I'm gonna name mine Cyber CPU and hit create. And at that point, it should create a restore point for you to where the system is currently at. And once it's done, go ahead and hit close and we can close this window right here. Now, the reason why you want to create a restore point is because this program right here allows you to apply a bunch of different tweaks to within Windows 10 and 11. The problem is it doesn't allow you to undo them, which if you happen to apply something that you don't like, the only way to get out of it is through a system restore point. So make sure you set the restore point first before playing with this program, because if you don't, you're going to be sorry that you didn't. Anyway, let's get back to it. All right, so from within, the program itself, it has some stuff checked by default. I would personally go through and uncheck this stuff because you don't know if you're gonna want this stuff or not. So go ahead and uncheck it so everything's unchecked. And we'll kind of go through and we'll show some of the options here. Like within Explorer, it allows you to enable the Windows 10 File Explorer, which essentially what that is, is if you look here, you can see that the File Explorer right now is the Windows 11 style File Explorer. Now, if we were to check this right here and then go ahead and click apply. Once we hit apply, we're going to come over here and obviously it still looks like the Windows 11 file explorer. But what we need to do is go ahead and open up task manager, click on more details, and then scroll over until you see Windows Explorer and go ahead and hit restart. 
And that's going to restart Windows Explorer for you. And then from that point, we're going to go ahead and open File Explorer again. And you can see this is the Windows 10 File Explorer. So essentially, that's what this program does, is it goes through, it has tons of different tweaks that you can enable. It has taskbar and start menu. It allows you to align your taskbar left, which I think everybody by now already knows how to do that. But it also allows you to make, a sm make small taskbar icons, which honestly I think is kind of annoying, but what it does is it makes all the icons in your taskbar really small. But at the same time, it kind of messes up your clock and other icons down here. So I personally don't like that one, and that's one of the reasons for System Restore, because if you check it and decide you don't like it, you can always run System Restore to get it back to the way it was before. You can also hide the taskbar on multiple monitors. You can hide the search icon, chat icons, or task view button. And you can also hide the most used apps from within the start menu. That's your apps being shown up right here in the recommended. And then also, if you come through here, there's tons of different options that you can choose. Like for instance, you can go use app dark theme, use Windows dark theme. And as you can see, most of this stuff right here is stuff that you can change from other parts of Windows. But that's not the point. The point is, is right here from within this program, it just gives you a more consolidated way to be able to change these settings. But one of the ones that I like a lot is if you come down here, if you skip all this stuff and go down to privacy and you open this one up, what this does is it disables all of these different privacy settings within Windows. Now, I think that's a really cool feature and I would recommend clicking all of those right there. That would definitely save you some time going through and making Windows 11 more private. So, as you can see, this program is pretty cool, and it's definitely a great replica of the original Tweak UI. However, it's about as refined as Windows 98 is today. But then again, that's kind of the point of the program. It gives you the look and feel of Windows 98, but it's a little bit more useful than the original Tweak UI would be in Windows 11 today. However, this video does not end here. That's because the author of this program used this as inspiration to create the program called This is Windows 11. So then, let's get back onto the computer and take a look at This is Windows 11. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go ahead and close down Tweak UIX. We're gonna open up our browser again and we're gonna go back to GitHub and we're gonna get this program now, This is Windows 11. So we're gonna come down here, click on Latest, scroll down and we're going to go ahead and click right here the tiw11.zip and from there it says this is not commonly downloaded may be dangerous if you get that just go ahead and click the up arrow and hit keep and then from there we're going to go ahead and show it in the folder and then like before we're going to right click and hit extract all and then extract all of these files right here and then we can kind of close some of these windows to get them out of our way all right, so now that we have this, we can go ahead and click on This is Windows 11. I'm gonna hit More Info and hit Run Anyway. Go ahead and hit Yes, and here you go. This is the program. So as you can see, it definitely looks a lot more like Windows 11. The theming is a lot different, but if you scroll down here to the second um, icon on the side right here, you can see that it essentially has all the same stuff as Tweak UIX had. It has the same basic categories as you had before. Like if we go into, let's go into Explorer, as you can see, enable Windows 10 File Explorer, like we already did before. The difference in this one is though, is this one gives you at least a little bit more ability to undo some changes, at least undo some changes. Uh, essentially what you have to do is click on Restore Defaults and it restores everything to defaults. Um, it doesn't just change back some of the things you've said. Like for instance, as you can see, my system right now is using the dark theme for the Windows UI itself, but the light theme for different applications and things of that nature. So if I was to click on the restore defaults, it would restore the entire computer to the light theme. So it doesn't actually undo the changes you've made in this program. It just has a predetermined position where most of these settings are set at default. And the Tweak UIX program does have something similar. It has an undo feature. It just doesn't work, <laughs> but that's okay because this is essentially the same program, but it's more tailored to look like Windows 11. And it also comes with a lot more features. If you go down the list right here, we can check on the next one and we can see the debloat Windows 11 where we take a lot of the programs that come installed by default. You essentially just click on the icon. You can hit move selected and it will uninstall that app once you hit the empty recycle bin. But 
We're not gonna do that this time. However, you can go through and you can remove a lot of this stuff if you want, or you can restore it all also. Like for instance, if we click paint, you hit move over here, you can click it and you can restore it back as well. And then if we go in the next icon here, the install packages. Now I looked at this program a while back and back when I looked at it before, this section didn't really work. And I, at least I wasn't able to get it to work. However, now it does work. But if you go through here, you can essentially just check Check the different programs that you want and if you clicked on those programs you can click run installer and it will install those programs onto your system but let's go ahead and move on to the next setting and on here these are essentially just automated tasks and you can go through this category right here you can either click on apps storage edge energy or privacy and you can decide different scripts that you want to run for those specific subject matters. Like if you go into apps, you can go remove one drive and it will run a script that will remove one drive. It's essentially pretty simple. And it also lets you check the code for the script you're running too. So you can look at the code itself just to make sure it's not doing anything that you don't want it to do. And then finally, if we click on this last dot right here is these are custom tweaks that you can do essentially at any time. You can write your own tweaks if you want to. You can go ahead and go click on this link right here and it'll give you a little brief overview on how you can create your own tweaks. But if you look at some of these things, you can disable the TPM 2.0 check, you can enable auto log on as admin account, or you can even enable the classic context menu for window in Windows 11. Now what that does is it takes the context menu, this one right here that you're typically used to seeing in Windows 11, and it changes it to the old context menu where it says show more options right here. If you click on that, this gives you the old context menu. Now, if you were to check this right here, it will replace that new Windows 11 context menu with the old one from Windows 10. So now if you were to hit the right click menu, it'll give you the old style context menu. Now, if this doesn't work right away for you, you may have to restart your computer to get this to come up, but it should replace the old context menu. And then the same thing is if you uncheck it and then go back, it'll give you back the Windows 11 context menu. But these right here are really neat little tweaks that you can do at any time. And to enable them, you just click on the tweak itself and it automatically enables it. You don't have to apply it or run it or do anything like that. Simply by checking it, it will automatically turn that tweak on. So as you can see, this is Windows 11. It's really the new tweak UI. Well, Kind of. The biggest feature that I think is missing from both of these programs is the ability to undo the tweaks that you apply. I mean, you know, you might want to see what a tweak does, and then if you don't like it, be able to turn it off. Unfortunately, in order to do that, you're gonna need a restore point, which is unfortunate and time consuming. In the process of making this video, I spent hours running System Restore over and over again. So it kind of got a little annoying. Also, even though both of these programs have the option to create a restore point for you, it doesn't work in either program. I'm sure that's probably just because Microsoft has changed something and the program just hasn't been updated to reflect that change yet. However, either way, I highly recommend you manually create a restore point before playing with this program. Because if you make the wrong change and you want it back the way it was, it's gonna be very difficult to do that without a restore point. With all that said though, we know Microsoft doesn't give us many options for customizing modern versions of Windows. And you know what? I don't see Microsoft coming out with an official tweak UI for Windows 11. I may be wrong, but I don't think Microsoft wants you to customize Windows. So it's awesome that we have programs like this to do just that. So then if you like customizing Windows like I do, then check out this video where I show you how to completely change the look of Windows 11. Have a great day.